Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to cover using the binome.dist.range function to perform a hypothesis test. Now this is going to be a one-tailed test. We have a scenario or an example where we want to test if teams on a quarterly basis are being selected fairly between two equally sized groups, group A and group B. So team members are picked randomly, so depending on a 50-member team, it should be equally divided by group A and group B. But there's been some debate that members have not been selected equally. Uh, in our next selection process, we actually pick 35 people from group A. So we're going to ask the question, what is the probability that 35 or more people from group A are selected for the team at a significance level of 5%? So that gives us a probability. But what we're trying to say when we're setting up our, our hypothesis is, is the selection process that's picking group A and group B, or is it selecting them equally? So here we're going to set up our hypothesis. H0 or H sub 0 is our no hypothesis. And what we're saying here is the team selection is by chance, so the odds of group A team member being picked is 50%. Now H sub A, the alternative hypothesis, is that team selection is not by chance. So the odds of a group A team member being picked is more than 50%. So we have our two equations here for H naught saying the P is less than or equal to 0.05% and H sub A where P is greater than 0.05%. So we're gonna test for P and depending on what we get, we are going to either reject the no hypothesis or accept the no hypothesis. So here's our trials. We have 50, so we have our 50 member team. And in the next selection, we have the probability of success. So supposedly it's supposed to be equally picked. We have in our random selection that a group A or group B, somebody from group A or group B will have a 50% chance of being picked for this 50 member team. And in what we're trying to see is we picked from our next selection, we picked 35 people. And we we're trying to figure out, well, should we reject the null hypothesis or accept the null hypothesis saying that uh, in, all, in all things being equal, it's a random chance and it's 50% chance that a team member will be picked. So the formula or the function that we use is binome dist.range. Our trials, we have 50. I'm just going to enter it 50 probability. The probability of success is 0.5, 50%. The number of successes is 35. And our numbers that, so we're looking for 35 or more people, so we can go up to 50 people. So that's our second number here. And it will give us back a value of 0.3%. So the probability of picking 35 or more people is very low, right? So that is also lower than H naught. So we will reject the null hypothesis. That's our question that's being asked. Is this selection process picking group A and group B members equally? Since that is lower than 0.05, we're going to reject that null hypothesis. If we didn't have the binome.dist.range function, what we could do is use the binome function, binome, dot this function. The number of successes is 34 because we're looking at a probability of 35 or greater and what we want to do is uh, we want to have a the 100 percent minus this so we have we, we want to have all the binomial distributions up to 34 and our trials are 50 the probability is 0.5 and is it a cumulative uh, dense is it a cumulative function yes that's true and it gives us the same value. Now, if we wanted to challenge ourselves a little bit, we can actually use the uh, binomial distribution function and try to figure it out you know, to give us our uh, output there. So this particular function, we'll have to do it for each of the various successes, right? And so this is basically factorial. And there is a factorial function for Excel that's going to be fact 50 divided by fact and that will be 50 minus 0 
close parentheses times fact that's fact of zero again All right and that gives us one incidentally this is a combinatorial factorial there's actually an Excel function that will perform all this and it's called combine combine open parentheses what is our number is 50 that's our trials and our number chosen our number chosen is zero All right so that's going to give that value that's basically n n pound, n minus x pound, x pound. And basically our factorial equation here. This is our combinatorial. Now I need to multiply by p to the x power of x and q to the power of n minus x. So now we got to do the other parts of the equation. We're going to multiply by p, which is our probability of success, 0 0.5 to the power of x. x in this case is going to be 0, this cell j24. So I'm going to select J20, J24, and I need to multiply it by Q to the power of N minus X. Q is 1 minus P. So 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 to the power of N minus X. I'm going to put that in parentheses. N is 50. We have our N here. 50 and then minus x our success the success here is zero so I'm just gonna click to reference that cell close parentheses press enter we have that value there double click the fill handle to copy the formula down you can see if I select the whole thing everything from 0 to 50 uh, successes cumulatively it should all equal sum up to 1 right so if we were to look at this equation and this equation, what we're saying is, what's the probability that 35 or more people from group A are selected? What these two functions are doing is similar to what I'm going to do here, is taking 1 minus the sum of all these up to 34. So let's go down to 34, 34 here, press enter. Yes, I'll accept that because I forgot to close the parentheses. It sells nice enough to close it for me. Go back up, and we see our value there. Let's increase the decimal places, and we have our same value, right? So this function, which is much easier to write, is representing this function, which is a little more harder. Not that much harder because you're just doing 1 minus the binomial dist, which is a lot easier than doing something like this, where we're taking the separate functions here or the separate calculations here based on our binomial, binomial distribution formula here and figuring it out doing the sum and subtracting it from one so if you really want to get challenged by how to figure out how to do this or what this particular function is doing then you can go through this exercise or even this exercise using that function but to figure out our question here in terms of the selection process that's, this is what we can use to determine this particular hypothesis test. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.